Great, thank you. Okay, well, welcome back. This is your last week. Okay. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do now, just recap very quickly of the, the last three weeks that we've done. So, on the first uh, week was a uh, swing plant hell. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was the most important things in the, in that particular session? <coughs> the position, the rolling position of the heel, the toe, okay. rolling, mm -hmm. keeping the wrists at an angle, so you're not okay. yeah, relaxing the wrists, relaxing yeah, the wrists right. and to keep the stick at a 45 Good. degree angle. That's right, and how high do you need to swing to? Just above the navel. The size, no higher, That's right. no higher than the belly button. Good. And how about the arms? Just the position of the arms and where does the power come from? So, so, the, so the power comes from the shoulders. Okay. And how do you manage to achieve that power from the shoulders? How should the arm be? So the arm should be straight. Good. Excellent. No bending at the elbow Good. to stress the elbow. That's right. As you know, because we're putting a lot of power coming through, there's a lot of energy being driven through the poles, through to the arm. And if you put that amount of energy in the elbow joint, you could damage your elbow. What we want to do is keep the arm nice and straight. There is a slight bend, but it's not an exaggerated bend. So um, there is a little bit of a bend, but by having that arm straight as possible, the power would then come from the shoulders. It's a bigger joint and it's able to deal with it. That, so that's what we need to do. Okay, so on the second week we did um, the hill work or hill climb. Okay, and what were some of the techniques that you did on, on the hill climb? So the hill climb was double pulling. Okay. So it was double pulling mm -hmm. and it was the uh, slight bend forward from the ankles. That's right, so leaning forward from leaning the ankles. Forward from the yeah. And what did you imagine you had underneath your feet while you were walking? Lemons. That's it. So we squashed lemons and that mm -hmm. helped you to get that the heel toe. Heel toe. Oh, that's right. That rolling. Okay. Of the Action of the heel to toe. Heel to toe. That's it. Good. Also, um, once again, what were the positioning of the arms? And where did the power go to? So, from the shoulders, but straight. The arm should be straight to the mm -hmm. head. Um, at a 45 degree angle. Good, excellent. Mm. And with the um, hill climb, what was one technique that we also did? We used which leg? So it was the right leg. Okay, or any leg, or, or, the, or the leading leg. leg. Okay, so basically we were walking mm -hmm. in time with whichever leg of your choice it was. Mm -hmm. So in my case, it was my right leg because I'm right inside mm -hmm. so, it. Whatever my right leg did, whenever it came up, it's when my arm came forward. Okay? And it was always done in time with the leading leg. Um, and then I showed you what gears? Third gear. Okay, how about one and two? One and two. So, one, so gear one was the slower. That's right. Gear. Just walking normal, Just walking. your normal walking pace. Yep. Gear two mm -hmm. was at a faster space. Faster pace. Slightly faster pace, yeah. Slightly faster mm -hmm. pace. But driving through the or push using the poles for more propulsion. That's right. To push forward. That's right. That's right. And then on week three was about gathering speed. speed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we did a, a technique where we just focused on on speed. Mm -hmm. And what sort of things did we do? So we did circuit, not circuits, but we did. Uh, so we did the speed. That's right. The circuits. That's right. Um, and the timing. That's right. Mm -hmm. right. You have to try each time to kind of to keep that time. The speed. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that way was helping you. You found it difficult at first because you kind of lose your form a little bit, yeah. don't you? Because yeah. now everything's yeah. changing. But one of the things we had to do was to make sure we took a bigger stance. We came up mm -hmm. on our toes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once again, still squashing the lemons mm -hmm. and driving through with the arms, keeping mm -hmm. the arms straight, power coming from the shoulders, mm -hmm. and you're leaning slightly forward from the, from the ankles. That's right, mm -hmm. okay. And um, obviously, trying to pick up that mm -hmm. pace a lot, doing that routine a lot quicker, mm -hmm. and that's how we increase the speed, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. But it starts, so it's really good. So, today now is about empowerment. Mm -hmm. 
And what we're going to do is that everything we have learned over the past three weeks, we're now going to implement that today. Okay? So today is going to be a bit hardcore. I've already planned a route for us to take. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be going around the edge of El Monster Park. Mm -hmm. We'll end up on this hill here of which we will do around about three to four times up using different techniques, okay? Along the way we're going to be using the chain reaction where one person comes from the back to the front and we'll be using different techniques on that, either double polling or single polling, okay? So that's what we're going to do today, yeah? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good, so what we're going to do now is warm up unless you've warmed up already. If not, we're going to warm up now and then we get started. Okay. Excellent, well done. And today you will get a certificate as well of completion. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good. So from here we're just going to warm up now, and as you know, what we're going to do is rock back from heel to toe. Mm -hmm. From here we're mobilising what joint? That one. Good. Excellent. From here, to do some leg curls, mobilising the knee joints. And why do we mobilise all these joints? What's the whole purpose? Oh, to get the synovial fluid mm -hmm. not moving to get it lubricating the joint. That's right. That's right. Okay. From here, knee raises. Relax. From here, if you put the poles just like so, in front of you, you're going to squat down, make sure you can see your toes when you squat, and as you come up, you're going to open the chest nice and wide. Good. So what we're doing here, we're just stretching that chest out, at the same time, warming up those muscle fibres in the legs. One more time. So from here, alternating lunges, so what we're going to do, we're going to step forward on the heel first. Sink our weight, make sure you can see your tip of your toes when you go down. Good. What we're doing here, we're just warming up those muscle fibres in the legs. Good, two more times. Last one, and the other side, good, and step it out, excellent, from here, unclip yourself, put the poles together, and you just mobilise the upper body, Very nice. So only now just begin to get slightly warmer. Yeah. Okay, if I can just go kayaking, what we're doing here is mobilising the spine in a three-dimensional. And backwards. So punching the lower arm away from the stomach. From here, above the head and down. Last one. Good. And just rotate the shoulders back and forwards. Well done and relax. Let's clip ourselves in and we're going to get 